I was really surprised by the character of Catherine, which I think it's she's quite unusual. In I don't Lona said something to me about her not having seen a character like this before in cinema, and I think because Lo, because Catherine is a sort of she she's a writer, so she watches and she absorbs, and um, and and she's sort of really really wise and knowing but she doesn't know that herself and I think um, you know for for a for a main character to be like that is quite rare because usually they want main characters to be really charismatic and um, I think Catherine is much more sort of internal and reserved at first um, and I was quite pleased that that someone had had the confidence to write a character like that um, yeah, and also the era. I mean, I've 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 always wanted to do a film uh, based in the 1940s, and this just had everything about it felt, uh, you know, that this as I was saying before, the rhythm of the dialogue and the, the style was so 1940s in itself. Um, so yeah, it was. I was pleasantly surprised when I read the script. <laughs> So the story is, uh, it's quite tricky to set up actually, because um, there's many stories within stories, but basically it's about a group of um, writers, uh, film writers, that are commissioned to write a film, a, a propaganda film, um, in 1940, to kind of, with a female angle, to kind of, um, you know, rally the troops and also the home front and the women that were left on the home front and so my character Katrin is um, drawn in to write the female dialogue or slop um, as they call it in the film so that's the sort of main heart of the film and then there's the film within the film that we shoot called the Nancy Starling and all of the actors that are playing um, in that film we sort of follow their lives as well but um, really it's about this two writers that fall in love um, and uh, and this one girl who um, who yeah her journey through that time and and her her journey of um, finding out who she is and her confidence I've loved working with Sam Claflin um, I've just it's it, I think we have good chemistry yeah, it just felt very, very, very easy with him. Um, he's so talented, so versatile, and can do the comedy and the complicated text, but at the same time, he's so sincere and um, and can and and can be complete, can incredibly moving and uh, available in that sense. Um, so I've loved working with him. I hope it's not the last time. <laughs> I wish I had more scenes with him because he's such a lovely man and just gorgeous to be around and obviously a brilliant actor. And it's funny, we were shooting a scene yesterday where he sort of, we have a very intense scene, Rachel Sterling and I, and then he comes in and does his, oh God, it was amazing, this scene. And I just felt like I was in another film. It, it, it just, because all of my stuff's been about the writing and the and the two men in my, lives, in my, my life, and suddenly this kind of actor comes in and it just felt like such a different film. Um, but that's, I hope that that's what Lona can get the balance of all of those things. There's one, in the book, there's a, a passage that I really feel, and, and in the film, and we haven't shot it yet though, um, that sums up this, what this film's about. And it's, it's about how important art is and how, you know, how it can really save you. And um, Buckley speaks about it, um, Catherine asks him, why, why are you a writer? And he says, well, it's what saved me. It's what gave me a purpose and, and films make me and I think that that's, we, we can all identify with that. There's, all, there's always something like a piece of music or a film that, that helped you. And I think that's why we have to fight on and make things and, and struggle on. And, and I think that's the real message of this film is about how important art is in our lives. England is at war. We need a film to inspire a nation. I thought it was a secretarial post. I'm awfully good. <laughs> Have you seen it yet, our film? Mrs. Cole, uh, Kirk, where is she? Someone get Mr. Hilliard out of Dunkirk. I'd miss you more than I could say. You will have them weeping in the aisles. Yes!
Prime Minister. We all have a part to play in defeating Hitler. Not this part. He's dead before the end of Act Three. <laughs>